So, this ship pack, if it loaded correctly, is called the Enemy Ship Pack. Created by RPG Nerdos. No idea what this looks like. But there's three pages and ships to unlock. Wow. This looks like a ship from Star Wars. Uh, Federation Hacker, NG Scout, Slug Light Cruiser. There's B. Wow, okay. Well, we got another ship pack to work our way through. <laughs> okay. Uh, enemy ship pack. So are these ships designed off of what you fight in a run, I guess? What's up, pie boy? Because this does look like a little like the coffin ship. Um, oh my gosh. The NG Donut ship. Wow. They are small ships. ZR Streak. Goodness. Some ships are an exception, but that's what they're designed for. Fleet ships on page 3 are OP ships of the mod. Okay. I know it's not the coffin because they're not actually separated, but it's like the ship shape is similar. It's it's a it's a it's a slug it's a small slug ship. Uh, uh let's see here. We did just kind of play a drone ship. The end. Entire galaxy is being devoured by a massive threat. Can be sold after starting beacon. Does nothing. Okay. Do they all have this? Okay, they all have this. The end beacon or the end augment. Interesting. I have a feeling that's going to have something to do with a, a triggered event on the first jump. They all have lower health. And reduced max system power. <laughs> These slugs you gave two extra shields. Okay. Max oxygen minus one, max doors, max engines. Goodness gracious. Um, let's do the slug. Even though we just did a, did play a ship that can get up to five shield, this looks like the least, uh, the most slug cheating, and maybe chat will stop telling me to buy a slug if I play a slug ship here. Read descriptions. Okay, let's read the description of this one. Slug light cruiser. During the catastrophe, slugs were proven to be best equipped for the Exodus. However, fees are to be paid for the greedy slug king. Gather 120 scrap, pay the fee in slug nebula, or defeat the flagship. The ship can only obtain cloaking as an additional system equipped with slug gel that repairs ship when getting scrap fixes breaches. So, if I find slug nebula, I can get an alternate ending is what this tells me, I think. These max systems are most likely based on what the sh enemy ships have, yeah. Alright, well, I just like the weapon start out here. Five shots for three power, sign me up. Follow the Rebellion, do we have Gibbs? Aye, nice! RPG Nerdos didn't skimp on the Gibbs, very nice. Well done. Well done on the Gibbs. Alright, here we go, what do we got? The universe slowly being consumed, Crisis Called the End is approaching fast. <laughs> Doesn't count as I didn't buy the slugs, okay, great. You can pay the fee in any nebula, the description's kinda wrong, you can pay in any nebula, so uncharted nebula counts, okay. I assume I have to find an event for this. Alright, Massive Star. Star that grows rapidly always launches solar flares on top of that. Mere presence nearby already sets ships on fire, damaging their hulls. Black hole that grows endlessly at an incredible speed. Requires extensive amounts of fuel to escape from. There's little mercy for ships without, caught without FTL fuel in its vicinity. Luckily, it may slow down after initial burst, according to some scientists. Vacuum decay. Insanely fast, advancing at the speed of light. Wave of particles that rewrite physics and everything that is touched upon. Get caught once your journey is over. Never slows down. Only ruthless captains who know no mercy will survive. Augment engine overdriver. Put engines in overdrive, allowing you to jump to even, to even unvisited beacons. As long as you have a sufficient amount of fuel to spend. What is this? Is this, is this replacing what's chasing you? This is this changes the dive events, okay. Um Global Star with Massive Star seems like the least punishing of a start. 
the noob I don't know what these do start. Okay. Wow, we have a lot of power on this ship to start for some reason. Start with. Dives of custom graphics. All right, so it sounds like we need to go to a dive, but they might just kill us. Nice. First jump free. Uh, Mantis, gotta love it. So you're saying we can only get cloaking, so that means I cannot get sensors or backup battery? Oh man, you are really limiting systems in this mod. How do you even know if something is approaching at the speed of light? By the way it affects things around it? Ah, I don't know. Sounds like you make it to Sector 8, you get your entire path to the base cut off by elites and you die. You can only get cloaking, yeah, these are limits that enemies face. Okay. <laughs> well, I wanted a Vulcan on that two weapon slot ship. And on this run, we just get jump one free Vulcan. Holy crap. I don't know if we're going to use this, but I kind of want to use it. We'll see. Good doges, man. Holy crap. Oh, we did start with four engines. Man, we didn't pull the pilot. Free crew. Why you gotta have so many crew all the time? No fires. Brokies can start a fire, right? Pretty unlucky. Okay, but their weapons are distinct, so we should be good. Solar dive isn't brutal, especially for slug ships that regain hull for every time you get scrap. Oh, free hull repair on this ship? Uh, so basically a non scrap eating scrap recovery arm, I, I would guess is what that uh, repair arm. I want to find out what it does. Because if technology does not exist, you yet can detect in, based in a fictional setting we call science fiction. There we go. That's how we see the thing coming that we shouldn't be able to see. So, Gravy Genie, how am I doing? Pretty good, my friends. Good doges, man. Holy. God, apparently, four engines in Sector 1 is insanely strong. They are A, B, and C slug fleet ship gain free hull repair. Doing the quest will unlock layout B and C. Okay. So I definitely want to go to any nebula, I guess, to pay off our debt. Is that what it was? So we got debt paying? While beating flagship unlocks layout B of slug ships. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get all these jumps. You pay fee for using the warp gate. 120 scrap is required. Okay. Oh, I thought this already sold. Okay. Do I want to get an NG? I kind of do want to just buy an NG for blue options. Basically always pays for itself. Delay is getting shields, but... We need our silly device. Only six crew max. Wow. This is... This is interesting because we are fighting as the enemy against enemy ships, but our upgrades are limited fairly heavily. Huh, that actually canceled itself out, the free damage. That's funny. On this mod, so this will be an interesting challenge here. We did get the second shield. I definitely see you're attempting to make your ships less overpowered as you go, RPG. Do, 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 do. Well, the, the augment said literally you can sell it after the beginning because it's useless after that, so I just did what did what it told me to do. And every nebula you, nebula you get an option at the starting beginning to start the quest. You can attempt it once, so if you feel you won't have enough scrap, you cannot restart the quest. Okay. So I should only do it once I have enough scrap, is what you're telling me, I think. Every nebula get an option. Okay. 
due to the later sector. Okay, gotcha. Enemy ships are restricted. The only reason some on the strong side don't kill the players, the AI doesn't use its stuff the most effective way like a player can. As long as you're close to having 120 scraps, starting quests should be fine. Oh, okay. So it sounds like it gives you a quest beacon, what it sounds like. Or a quest chain or something. Doo -doo -doo. Gives you a quest beacon, okay. You never added me as a friend on Steam, so you can't buy Ghostbusters for you. Oh, is that you? That's... I didn't know... I don't think that was your... Let me check. Hold on a second. Steam. Sorry. I get... I get random... I get random... Friend requests... On Discord and Steam all the time, so I apologize. I currently have... 61 mails. So, let me... Uh... Sorry. I... Only three new invites, though. A lot of them are items in my inventory. So let me accept it. I apologize. Who are you? Because I have three invites and none of them are a gravy genie. Okay, tip a canoe. There we go. Let's see Corvax. I don't know who this other person is, so... There we go. Sorry. You have to remind me on chat. Or if you ever, if you ever need me to do something, you can always whisper me on Twitch to remind me to. Yeah, it's no big deal. No big deal. Scrap some debris. Free stuff. Uh, okay. One advantage of not being a crazy big streamer. I'm sure people like, you know, Lethal Frag and Ninja and all the crazy, crazy ginormous streamers just have inboxes constantly full on Steam and email and Discord and all that kind of stuff. So at least don't have that. You just lost a run with a flak one, two burst laser two, six weapon power, and two shield bubbles where you got dealt 23 damage without getting able to fire a sing more than a single flak one. Yikes. Barb lets you add him on Steam. Life is better. <laughs> well... Since I have to go to Slug, I'm forced to do your quest in Sector 4. If I go up here, I actually don't get to unlock the thing, so I guess we have to go down here. Although, would a Nebula jump do it, or does it have to be in a Nebula Sector? I assume it has to be in a Nebula Sector, right? Okay, that's just empty. Awful map split, yeah. No Sector 6... Five, six, or seven nebula kind of sucks. Okay, you can't do damage to us though. Starting beacon in any nebula sector can trigger the quest. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so we will probably not do it in sector three, but probably sector, I think it was five that we had the option. Pop, 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 pop. I will say this ship strong. Uh, this ship starts incredibly strong. First laser two, dual laser one. If I ran into this ship, slug ship with this build, sector one, I would totally rage quit FTL. I'm sure. One, two, three, four. I want to go through the stress, but that's three, f four force jumps after it. So, do I have long range scanners? I thought I bought them. I did not. Okay, just haven't seen them yet. Uncharted Nebula counts good. Well, good thing I shot his weapons down because both are. I owned his weapons, I my weapons, and not his weapons, so sad times for us. Okay, thank you for not hitting my weapons twice, but no thank you for not hitting his weapons. Okay, good dodge, though. Perfect.
We're playing Forces of War right now, if I've ever played. Forces of War. No, I'm not familiar with that game. Um, the ship was meant to start with two times dual lasers, but let's just say the small ships can start falling off. Yeah, I could see that. If you're limiting their systems they can get, I can definitely see that. You wandered into one of those ASB ally encounters where the enemy ship is so OP for the sector and they mind controlled your Lanius pilot, teleported Lanius into your piloting. Artemis, your shields. Black one. Okay, so that sounds like you died to a Lanius bomber. Which is, yeah. There's a reason you don't go to abandoned sectors after sector 3 if you can help it. And you found that reason. Lanius bombers. The glow on pause was cool. Nice. It's Star Wars, Forces of War, it's Risk in Space. <laughs> okay. <laughs> risk in Space. All the ships get some sort of hidden augment or stuff to balance the lack in systems. Well, I mean, this one's, I guess, thing is it's uh, free hole repair, right? But that's not offensive or defensive combat power, so it's still... I feel like it's a pretty good challenge for these ships. Challenge. And the very strong start, yeah. Not all that useful. Well, there's the cloaking, and you made it cheaper. I do like that. Do like that. The question is, do I get clone bay before? We never found cloaking last time. I better just do it now. All right. So, this is our full uh, system setup right here. Wow, that's limited. <laughs> okay. You got stuck. Two choices, abandoned or abandoned. You were jump, one jump away from the exit. Mm. I feel like if it hadn't been the USB ally encounter, you could have handled a normal power ship. Is the uh, ASB ally encounter always that much stronger? I mean, to me, I feel like it wasn't because it was the ally ASB counter it, encounter. It was because it was just, um, the, uh, the, L the Landius bomber. It's always an elite ship. Oh, we should check out what the cloaking looks like, though. Ooh, nice little light blue glow. Nice double reward, too. ASB is always a high roll, still has variation. Okay. Okay. If I saw another store, would I go to it? Long range scanners, yeah. Don't forget to gather 220 scraps. True, yes. I will try not to forget. But I'm, I'm not going to do it next sector. I want to do it as late as possible. I have some missiles, sir. Hacking's done. All right. You require more minerals. <laughs> uh, RPG Nerdos is that voice. You have not enough minerals. All right, all right, all right. Stop yelling at me. I'll try to get more minerals and stuff. You have not. You're right, I have not enough minerals. Can I get more minerals in this asteroid field, though? No store. Okay. Unless the exit feeds a store. You got. You last long enough for the ASP to get one shot off and it missed, of course. <laughs> it's funny. Sad, but funny. Um, okay. Oh man, small bomb, triple free borders. This could be rather bad, honestly, for us. Okay, if this bomb hits, uh, I think we'll be okay. But if it hits heal bay, that could be annoying. It's clone bay, but it doesn't have a teleporter. Okay, that's a good dodge. Very nice.
famous conceit ship. Uh, what? This isn't the famous conceit ship. That's the shieldless ship in an asteroid field. Did I just fight one of those? I don't think I did. Two-person heal bay, though. It's so small. See how small this heal bay is. It's so small. Necro calls, what, the concede ship Shirley? <laughs> Don't call me Shirley, and I will not concede. Well, we call it the famous concede ship because that's what Kenny always used to call it. So we can't get... We can't get anything that uses drones. We might as well sell our drone parts for scrap, so. Abandoned Sector 3 is great. No, you can't get any more systems, I don't think. I'm pretty sure there's no rooms to put those systems in, so. One thing I'd want from a store would be, um, I don't know, a weapon or a long-range scanners, I guess. The layouts of these ships are almost always based on layouts of enemy ships, so this is basically where enemies can get them. Okay. RPG Nerdos always sticks with the theme, that's for sure. Man, let's get all the fighting training. Not allowing us to get sensors is sacrilege. How will we get swag sensors? It's <laughs> the true question. Well, at least Silly Device is, is happy because Silly Device gets to have some doors to work. So, as long as Silly Device is happy, I'm happy. Ain't nobody got money for swag. Could do clone bay. Just do clone bay. And now we'll save up for... Let's get the scrap we need for... Actually, it wasn't Sector 3 Nebula. Or did I choose to not go to Sector 3 Nebula? I think I did. Scan the ship. Two shields. We do have cloaking. Go for the shields first. Man, not having extra systems is going to be really challenging. This thing is so close to firing. I just accepted a missile. I hope I dodge it because I just completely misplayed that. Completely mistimed that. I thought... I just, I don't know why I did that. It's misplanned. Three damage we didn't need to take there. Should repair it up from the scrap gain we get, though. Okay. Yeah, whole regen is not a big deal. Definitely misplay. All ships with medical facilities can replace them with clone bay. Okay, that's good to know. Because I'm not locked into heal bay. <laughs> NG. NG paying for itself right there, baby. Yeah, baby. Ran playing as a slug ship, at least it's not the coffin ship. <laughs> it's close to a coffin ship. Yes. Coffin. What did I do to deserve all these freaking humans on my ship today? Did they not hear it's drone murdering and human venting day? All on the same? All at the same time? Speaking of venting, um, oh, the ship can vent. Actually, for a second there, I didn't think we could vent the ship. Very small, small amounts of vents, though. Coffin ship exists. If I end up doing quests, it'll get unlocked. Oh, God. Oh, you made the coffin ship a playable viewership. I wonder what you did to deal with an O2 that can't be repaired. It only has two airlocks of the ship, yeah. Ugh. Man. Automated reloader is great, especially if we're going to get a Vulcan online eventually.
which I need to do sometime soon, probably. If your ship is an enemy ship you encounter, there's a bit more powerful. That's a bit more powerful than slug ship. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I I figured from the name. Um, we will probably be playing yours next week, uh, Math Champ. You can let me know if you have a preference if I play it early or late, because... Wow. Five shots against one shield. That is... Four out of five. What is that? 80% dodge? Jesus, game. Seriously. Freaking hell, man. Good dodge. Nice. Not enough time. Well, I'd have time if I didn't have to drive six hours and go sing tomorrow. I, I'm trying to... I don't know. We're getting close to the time of year when I'm going to have a lot more singing gigs. And I... My voice gets really fried between streaming. Just by streaming alone. But add in extra singing and it gets really, really, really fried. So... Since I gotta drive and sing tomorrow, and then sing on Wednesday night for rehearsal, I'm probably gonna make this a little bit shorter today. Is this a map? I thought I said map. That was really crappy. Really crappy uh, reward. Unless this ship goes stupidly fast, which is going pretty fast, but I really would rather end early than late with uh, extra singing gigs I gotta prepare for tomorrow. Or go do tomorrow. Six fuel for 26 scrap. Uh, no thanks. But one Alanius. Let's us down to 80. I'll take the Alanius. Some decent blue options. Hang out in O2, your natural environment. Do you have any training? Repair. Okay. What's the plan for tomorrow? No stream tomorrow. You won't be here tomorrow because, well, I mean, you can hang out and chat if you like. I will not be here. <laughs> I will be driving three hours to Texarkana, singing for a couple hours, then driving three hours to come back. So it's going to be an eight-hour day, six hours of which we'll be driving. So that's 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 why I'm talking about wanting to not go crazy today. Should add this to a quote. What's that? Wow, that's a deal. Okay. You sir know how to deal. You cannot do damage to us. Gotta love it. Hope we get some training. Never shield training, because always ion weapons. But hey, I'm getting paid good money to drive three hours, seeing and drive three hours back, so I'm not complaining. No complaints for me. Getting paid to sing is always a good deal. Well, usually a good deal. Living the dream, everybody. Living the dream. That's what I tell myself as I cry myself to sleep on my huge pillow. Anybody know what that what movie that quote's from? Huh? Cry yourself to sleep on your huge pillow. All right, civilian, great, and then unidentified nebula. We're gonna do that. We need to, we need to have 120 scrap going out out of this sector. Austin Powers, good. The uh, that's a good guess. Uh, Mike Myers is involved with this movie. Wrong, wrong, but good guess. No. It's not him. It's not Fat Bastard from the Awesome Powers movie. One good thing about dives in this mod, you don't have ASB firing at you. Oh. Oh yeah, I haven't dove. Okay, I need to dive this sector to look at that too. It's not Shrek. No. A less well-known... Uh... Mike Myers movie. Ha 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 I stumped you. I want to tell you, but I also want to see if you're going to get it. Halloween? No, not that Mike Myers. <laughs> Wrong Mike Myers. Right, you get one more guess, then I'm telling you. I wonder if Shogi knows. I don't know if he knows Mike Myers movies that well. Is Mike Myers the killer from Halloween? 
Aha! Julian Burst got it, so I married an axe murderer. That is correct. Mike Myers uh, meeting... Is it his family or the girl he's going to marry his family and they're Scottish and... Talks about his kid. Kid! Move! You had it, but you were just a little slow. Austin Powers is the only other Mike Myers movie you know. Yeah, so I married an axe murder. murder. It's one of Mike Myers, like, earlier movies, I think. And strangely, I have a number of lines memorized from that movie, and I probably only saw it a couple times. Memories are funky that way. Um, okay, well, we do have the drone recovery arm to sell. I have to be really careful about how much scrap I spend to make sure I have 120 for the nebula in the next sector. That's really good weapons. Wayne's World, yeah, that might be... Is that the first one? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know Mike Myers' IMDB that well, I guess. Vulcan. I'm thinking about Heavy Laser Halberd instead of Vulcan because it's cheaper to get online. You are old. Well, so am I, I guess, if I'm quoting a movie from the, what was that, mid-90s, I guess? It's just, just this ship that has to gather scrap. Other ships won't have that. We'll have different quests. Okay. Well, I have nine jumps. I need to do some upgrade. I feel like I'm going to need third shield. I'm going to do this. This limited systems thing, man, is oof. All right. Angie, another blue option. More than paid for yourself now. Okay, we do want to dive this sector. So we're going to dive to get as much scrap as we can. Well, he dodged five out of uh, four out of five shots, so another eighty percent dodging, dude. Okay, now he didn't dodge. That's what I like to see. Beautiful. Pop, 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 pop. Map. All right. So, we want to be here in 9, here in 7. Hmm. Which looks like that includes going to stores, which I don't really want to go to stores. Seven, eight, nine, dive. All right, we'll go to one more store. I don't really want to get anything here, although long range scanners and flak are there. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry, Vulcan. I'm sorry. I see flak, I buy flak. And anyway, I want to get it online, but I need to get my 120 scrap. Some limits you do not give to the ships though, because they'd be impossible to work with, would require tons of luck. Doge. Nice. Rip Vulcan Dream. Well. But, um, welcome to the world flackening dream. You know? I feel like that's a good dream, too. When has flacken ever not been a good dream? You tell me that! Blackening is always a good good deal. Pavlovian at this is, <laughs> yeah, at this point. And of course I got a missile right after I left the stores that I love to sell. Okay. Alright, how much would it cost to do this? A lot. I hope I don't need some crazy amount of power for whatever I'm gonna have to like weapon or offensive or defensive power for whatever I'm going to have to do at the beginning of this nebula sector.
I'm gonna take three staff because three shield hacking missile. F that. Enjoy your overpowered life, sir. Check their offer. Six power. Oh no, four power. I thought that was a heavy two for a second there. Good doge. What did it cost you? Everything! It cost me everything, you know it. This ship doesn't get any special boss fight, so it's just scrap that you need. Okay. Wow, I'm dodging like crazy with low engine power. It's awesome. We have dodged every heavy laser shot. This guy must be raging so hard. But also you're stupid for having this weapon build. So, you know, I don't, don't even feel bad. What did you think you were doing with a heavy laser and a single, well, a halberd beam? That's good. But a single heavy laser, not as good. Okay, so let's slowly get stuff online here while staying above 120 scrap. I think that was the number you said we needed. Um, got a little stronger, but we got our three shields, so we're looking good. These time out well? I think they might actually time out decently well. Uh, don't run, please. I need to kill you and take your stuff. Oh, crew kill that guy. Okay. Got a lot of fires, apparently. Not sure how I killed that mantis. All right, so one, two, three. With two more ship fights, we can definitely get that much. So let's go ahead and get the flak online because it's a flak and it needs to be online. Goliath online, flak online. What's your specialty? I do not want to spend that. It's slightly cheaper. I think that only saves us five scrap anyway. Oh man, what the free hack plus missile? What the free hack plus missile? Like seriously, what the free black plus missile? Free pack, not flack. Pack flack, pack snack back. Imagine the last two gems being empty. I know they're not because I had a map. So. I don't have to imagine that because I know it wouldn't happen. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah, triangle. That's why long range scanners and maps. Two of the best things you can get. Although I got the long range scanners after we got the map, but I'm hoping the long range scanners will still, you know, be good as we go on. I don't know what happens when we get this quest, though, so I don't know if I still. I don't think it just ends the run, because I think I still have to go fight the boss, but who knows. Maybe it sends you to a different sector or something. Should be very multiverse of this mod. One more power. Alright, diving. So there's some sort of solar flare dive. Something's approaching. Wow, you've been caught by the growing sun. Your ship is barely able to stay ahead of the death zone. At which you'd probably become vapor. Luckily, you managed to get you generate some FTL fuel from the sheer heat. Wow! Oh, we're on fire! Wow! Did three damage to our engines. Uh, I might not get out before another flare hits us. That is, wow! That's a big old solar flare. <laughs> Okay, all right, we're good, we're good. That is the biggest solar flare I've ever seen. Is there a solar flare? It hasn't made the sound for one yet. There it is, okay. Oh man, I had to skip Rebel Stronghold for your quest. Damn it. No look around for us today. All right, this name must have been an important hub at one point, placing all these junk Beacons would be no easy task. However, now it's hardly navigable. 
Slug light cruiser. Locate the hidden warp gate. Can be undertaken only once per run. You have been warned. After a few moments, you and your crew of advanced navigators managed to pinpoint the exact beacon. You can only hope you have sufficient amount of scrap to pay the fee to the king. Be wary, as even among themselves, slugs are traitorous, will attempt to take the scrap you've gathered before you reach the warp gate. Okay. Give me a bit of a spoiler, because this quest location is ridiculously bad. Does this take me to another sector when I get this, or am I going to have to get here and then to the exit? Quest ends the run. Okay, all right. Um, okay. I hope my weapons go off before of his, because holy crap, I have no power, and he has all the effing power. That's a deal. Fine, as long as I have 120 scrap. Wow, ends the run? Okay, well, maybe I will be able to play another ship today, because this is really going to end early if that's the case. Can the translation device be named Babel? No, it's a little late. We're, we're all apparently almost done with this run. Strangely, I was not expecting that. So he said some ships can end their run even in third sector. Okay. Maybe I missed it when you said that. You can totally be the cloaking system. Totally. I'll even show you off. Look at how cloaking you can cloak your cloaking. Alright. Um, let me at least get enough power before going there. I have the scrap. I have pretty good weapons. If I just pay my debt and it's over, it sounds like it's going to be pretty easy unlock for the next ship, but... We'll see. Ugh. Ugh. Oh god, level 3 shields and cloaking. Uh, I mean, I have cloaking uh, missile for you. Nice. Yeah, no hacking on this ship. Unless I hack the game to uh, hack this mod. And hack and hack and hack all the hacking hacking things. Nice. Yeah, we blasted one of his uh, offensive drones there. Happy drone murder day. I told you. Told you, man. Told you. Well, the one thing about limiting your systems is you can spend your scrap on other stuff. What's a man without a woman? What's a slug without a hack? I've convinced you to play more FTL, Gunker. Don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> really? I convinced you with the way I yell at this game? Okay. I feel like I'm doing it wrong. When I say I hate this game, this game sucks. I feel like that should make you not want to play it more. <laughs> a little confused, honestly. Negative view. Two stars. Would not recommend. Oh, I better play this game. Wait, what? It sucks, but when you win, it feels so good. It does. It does. That's for sure. And of course, I don't actually think about FTL. FTL is five stars. Amazing game. Yeah. Some people like their games unbalanced and difficult. FTL souls dance, right? You have half mind to make some ships with too many doors also. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Double mantis boarding with double missiles. Ugh.
Don't bum a clone, babe, bro, by the way. Okay, thanks for killing your own crew. I think he actually did just kill his own crew. <laughs> He's stupid. Ugh, stupid AI is stupid. Oh, that's almost a crew kill. However much health that guy had is how much damage we had off lethal. That guy forgot he didn't buy a clone bay. <laughs> and I have the clone bay, so... If I do this, still above 120. Okay. Alright. Three or four more jumps to victory here. I don't know if it's a, a boss fight or what. If I just pay scrap and done. Uh, Math Champ, are you still around? If you're still around, I'm going to ask you about your ship that you sent to me. Because maybe I can actually get your ship today. And if he's not, maybe I'll play another one in this mod. Since this run definitely is showing this is a mod that might not take a crazy amount of time to get another run in. Potentially. Score prediction 2230. <laughs> if you decided to play Arsenal Plus, you're going to try a multiverse. The install up for hyperspace on Linux is so bad it isn't worth it. Do that. You share that pain, wisely chosen. Oof. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven weapon power and cloaking. Okay. Do, 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 Okay, nice. This would be in a terrifying weapon system, Sector 1. Not as terrifying Sector 5 we're in, I think. Damn. Thought I could get that through in time. We have really fast firing weapons, not quite fast enough. Yeah, you talking about the difficulty of installing hyperspace on Linux is reminding me why I did not go with... One of those other operating systems that people recommended when uh, my Windows was giving me hell way back when. What the hell did you do damage, Mini Beam? Yeah, I think it was Ubuntu that I was gonna try. Okay, all right, well, we got extra scrap. Maybe I can tip him something too. Ooh, look at this! First nebula seems empty, but two elite slug interceptors soon emerge from the clouds, escort you to the massive warp gate. You are hailed by a nearby slug battle cruiser. Soon you see the king himself, smug look on his face. Welcome to the warp gate, my subject. Since you are as much of a businessman as me, I'll be straight and honest. You and I know that for the usage of my warp gate, you must pay. Have you gathered the scrap? You can pay in drones or missiles. We almost can play in, pay in missiles. Pay the fee. Slug be unlocked. You soon discover or deliver the requested scrap to King's Battlecruiser. Slug almost purrs, content. Ah, such wealth. Proceed. You have just become the official passenger of our pleasure fleet. Get comfortable and be patient. You take the booked place in the fleet of ships and watch the shiny surveyor class uh, cruisers outfit your hull with warp shield. Soon you'd be far away from this mess and back to life of pleasure, just like your crew members. GG! <laughs> GG cookie time! Love a cookie time for that. That was a nice quick run. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well I was not expecting to be done in like 30-45 minutes, so we will do one more run today. What's the score on that run? 3102! <laughs> okay. Well, let me mark off we got the slug A done. Is that what it's called? Let me go to the hangar here. It's called... Let's call it the Veil, I guess. Well... Truffly Truffle. Fly 3041. Alright, I'll just call it Slug A.